What a beautiful morning. I'm standing here just above the Cookmere Valley and I've come to meet one of the country's leading experts on butterflies, Neil Hume. So this is our version of the rainforest. Um, the diversity of, of plants is, is absolutely fantastic. It's a very, very rich environment. And it's so rich because the soil, it's, it's what we call a skeletal soil. It's very, very low in nutrients. So these things are really having to compete. This chalk down then is unique. It is, but it takes an awful long time. This has taken thousands of years to, to form. It's the sheer number of different plants. You know, we're talking 40 species here in a tiny area, a square meter. We're talking 30 species at any one time of butterfly. Get that? Oh, yes. Look. There they go. When you see the Adonis blue, you know it's the Adonis blue. The, yeah, the colour, it's, it's, it would not look out of place in a South American rainforest. They are as good as anything anywhere in the world. If you said Adonis blue, corn bunting, yellow hammer, chalk hill blue, you know you're talking about the South Downs. Absolutely. It's that suite of species which is unique to this landscape. Mm. But uh, the Adonis is... Um, the jewel. It, it's the jewel in the crown. They should be prescribed by the National Health Service. They just bring instant happiness. They raise your spirits. The caterpillar of the Adonis blue butterfly has a special relationship with ants. They protect it from parasites and small predators. In return, when the ants tap them with their antennae, the caterpillar feeds them with a tiny drop of sugar. It's a win-win situation for both. The ancient Greeks used psyche to refer both to the butterfly and the soul. And for me, it's a, it's a, it's a passion. It's, a, it's a, a love, a deep love affair. And it's, a, it's an important collection, I think. <laughs> Across Britain, butterflies are in steep decline and the downs are a critical refuge for them. 